Anyway, what's up guys? So this is the fourth and final episode of 100 Truths. So this will be 76 to 100. These ones get a bit weird, so hopefully this will be a bit interesting for you. Maybe you get to find out if I ride a unicorn. Um, I haven't actually read them yet because fun are that way. But just as a side note, I would ride a unicorn if I got the chance. If you want to see something awesome as well, some posters that I might put up in my room. Uh, let me try and get this on the camera. Yeah. How great is that? And this as well, which I haven't even unwrapped yet, but you know, backwards a bit, foot down, uh, vertical. Anyway, so on to the questions. 76 was what country would you like to visit? I'd like to visit America a lot more personally. Canada, I'd like to visit. I'd also like to go to Russia. I don't know why. That was an example of my horrible ability to make accents with my mouth face. Vodka. In a relationship, do you prefer lips or eyes? Eyes. Shorter or taller? Shorter. Looks or personality? Personality. Quick fling or long term? Quick fling. Jokes. 81, do you believe in yourself? Ah, uh, not really, but sometimes. It depends. 82, do you believe in miracles? I do. 83, do you believe in love and first sight? No. And no, that doesn't make me a heartless bastard spawned from the bum crack of hell. It just means I don't believe in that. It's not that much of an issue. I think it's more about bonding and all of that other emotional cheesy crap. Do you believe in heaven? Raised as a Catholic, yes. But religion is like a minefield to take steps around on the internet, so it's not, let's not go into that. 85, do you believe in Santa Claus? 86, do you believe in aliens? Yeah, you'd be being pretty ignorant if you didn't think that aliens existed. We're not the only planet out there. There's a pretty high chance of there being an exact replica of Earth in another universe, which means life could also live on that. There are too many planets for there to not be other life. 87, do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Why? Because it's fun! 88, do you believe in fairies? I'm not convinced. I know you're probably sitting there thinking you believe in ghosts, but you don't believe in fairies. I don't really, I can't answer that. Um, fairies just sort of aren't quite as believable. I don't believe in fairies. I don't. I don't. And apparently these last ones are classed as silly stuff. Sweet. 89, the genie gives you three wishes. What do you wish for? Well, this is always the bombshell I drop when I'm asked this question. I'm gonna wish for infinite wishes. Problem genie. Think how like pissed off the genie would be. He'd be like, oh, how did I not think this through? I've been sitting in my lamp for like millions of years and I didn't think that someone's just gonna wish for unlimited wishes and they've just trolled me so hard, might as well get back in my lamp. 90, you walk into a room and find someone you hate tied down to the floor, what do you do? I'd take their phone out of their pocket and freight them. <laughs> 91, a movie is being made about your life, what would the title of the movie be? Bankrupt. 92, if you win a million dollars, what would be the first thing you'd buy? Um, well technically I wouldn't buy it, but I would, I would uh, convert it all to pounds. Um, as if you hadn't noticed already, I live in the UK, so a dollar would be pretty useless. I wouldn't buy anything, I want to keep that title millionaire above my name, so I'm just gonna keep it, keep the title. A title is irreplaceable, you can't buy a title? What type of superpower would you have and would you be a hero or a villain? I think I would be the plot twist in the middle of the film where I would be like the villain halfway through and I'd be like, oh, he's so dark and mysterious and we don't know his intentions and his motives. And then halfway through it's like, plot twist! And it turns out the whole time I'd been hiding the super secret world saving device in my back pocket. Oh, my power would be to play with time because that's just, that's always really cool to me. Come on, like, how wicked would that be? You'd like take someone's drink out of the hand, like pour it over their head but the water would just sort of hover there in a big liquidy ball. And then you're like, unfreeze. And then it just pours on the head and you're like, don't know, don't know. 84, aliens land in your front yard. What do you do? Welcome them with open arms or grab your nearest weapon? Once again, neither. I would start playing music really loudly and see if they respond to it. If they, if they just start like mincing in my garden, I'd be like, we can be friends. 95, zombies invade your neighborhood. What's the best way to deal with them? Well, in that case, it would be grab the guy that you hated before that was tied down and feed them to the zombies. You know, it's like a sacrifice, you know, keep them happy, fed. 96, you've been captured by a group of ninjas. Do you convince them to let you go or do you try and use martial arts to beat them or well, actually do you want to see one of my karate trophies <laughs> yeah i mean it's not like i got it when i was 11 or anything i think it's still valid i'll be fine i can take on ninjas just give me a shuriken and i'll be fine 97 you invent a time machine when and where do you go with it um i'll try and find doctor who steal his tardis and then i'll answer that question 98 you become supreme ruler of the world what laws do you make there will only be one currency and it will be gummy bears you will pay with gummy bears. Create a band of troll police that can track down those little pricks on the internet that are just 
trolling all the time and then shut off their internet forever and record them crying and upload it on their Facebook page. I know that's a little mean, but I'm just evil. 99, the world is going to end in 24 hours. What do you do? Probably do what everyone else is doing and run around in circles screaming with like your arms flailing like above your head. You know, like they do in the cartoons. They sort of like have their arms flailing, kind of like spaghetti and they're running in circles. Big round circles. Also, I was you said time machine to get out of that situation. So yeah, it's fine. And 100, are you going to tag all your friends to answer these questions? Possibly. We'll see. We'll see. So anyway, guys, there you go. 100 truths about me. I've done four separate videos on this. If you haven't seen the other three already, check the link at the end of this video. It'll be on one of the sides. It'll be on the previous video bit. Uh, so go and check that out if you haven't seen them already. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I did quite enjoy making it, actually. Hopefully you learned a bit more about me. And I will see you in the next video because I want to eat your face off with my lips. Bye, eat my hair. Subby, 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 subscribe.